नमस्कार मैं हूं डॉक्टर रोहित और आप देख रहे हैं साइंटिस्ट आर एकेडमी टू वर्ल्ड साइंटिफिक वर्ल्ड नाउ दिस इज आवर नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ पी जी सी यू सी टी नाउ वी हैव स्टार्टेड पी जी सी यू सी टी लेक्चर सीरीज फॉर द लाइफ साइंसेज एंड दिस इज आवर कंपाउंड माइक्रोस्कोपी लेक्चर फ्रॉम द यूनिट फर्स्ट कॉल टेक्निक्स नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज कंपाउंड माइक्रोस्कोपी वॉट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कंपाउंड माइक्रोस्कोपी वॉट आर द डिफरेंट बॉडी पार्ट्स ऑफ कंपाउंड माइक्रोस्कोपी what is the mechanism of action means how we can see the object under the compound microscopy and at last we are going to understand the applications let's start compound microscopy <coughs> and if you are new to our channel subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for more video updates now first we are going to understand the introduction of compound microscopy now what is microscope what is microscope so mi microscope it is an optical instrument it is an what it is an optical instrument which consists lenses or combination of lenses for making enlarged or magnified image of a minute object microscope kya hai microscope ek optical instrument hai jisme bahut sare lenses ya fir ek ya do lenses present hote hai uski wajah se हम कोई भी ऑब्जेक्ट को मैग्नीफाई कर सकते हैं इनलार्ज कर सकते हैं और उसका स्टडी कर सकते हैं सो टोटालिटी माइक्रोस्कोप इज एन ऑप्टिकल डिवाइस ऑप्टिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट विच कंसिस्ट लेंस और अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ लेंसेज फॉर मेकिंग इनलार्ज और मैग्नीफाइड इमेजेस ऑफ एन माइन्यूट ऑब्जेक्ट इट इज़ यूज टू स्टडी द सेल्स बिकॉज दे पजेज द करेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ मैग्नीफिकेशन रिजोल्विंग पावर ये खास करके सेल्स का स्टडी करने के लिए यूज़ किया जाता है क्योंकि उनका जो कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स है मैग्नीफिकेशन एंड रिजोल्विंग पावर का वो हम स्टडी कर सकते हैं सच मैग्नीफिकेशन पावर कैन रिजोल्व बिटवीन टू ऑब्जेक्ट्स लाइंग क्लोज टूगेदर इसको हम कैसे रिजोल्व कर सकते हैं तो इन दोनों को हम क्लोज ला के बायोलॉजिस्ट आर माइक्रोस्कोप टू स्टडी सेल्स सेल पार्ट्स and organisms that are too small to be seen with the naked eye biologist <coughs> microscope ka use karte hain cell cell parts and dusre jo bahut hi chote chote kan hain unka study karne ke liye microscope ka use biologist karte hain now there are different uh, types of microscope basically there are two types first one light microscope which possesses light and uh, through one or more lenses to produce enlarged image of specimen second type is electron microscope which uses the electron to op to magnify or to uh, 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 to enlarge the image rather than light now first scientist who described the microscope known as hackery zinsen he was a dutch spectacles maker who tested several lenses in a tube and discovered that nearby objects appeared significantly enlarged next scientist that is robert hooke he used a microscope to observe a thin slice of cork the spaces he saw reminded him of small rooms where monks lived uh, so he called them as a cells which he used to describe the smallest unit of life see the robert hooke was the best scientist and he he, he is he is known for the microscopy study and he studied the the cork cells under the microscope and he got that small small house like structures what we can say that is no uh, small rooms that is what he called them as a cells he used a microscopes with the two or three lenses but they didn't produce very detailed images next scientist that the anton van leeuwen who he was also dutch merchant who learned how to grind lenses to make simple microscopes they have only one lens this produced a clearer and more enlarged images than hooks and he also studied the different uh, water samples under the microscopes and that is what he is uh, he is known for the his microscopy study he is also considered as a father of microbiology for building around 500 different microscopes he was the first discoverer of microscope uh, microorganisms under microscope by using the drop of pond water that is what he called them as a tiny any molecules he also observed a, a different blood cells under the microscope so these are the important scientists uh, those worked on the compound microscope simply on the microscope zachary zinsen robert hooke and anton van leeuwen hook so let's understand different parts of compound microscope now see this is a compound microscope image now 
at top here is eyepiece eyepiece is used to see the object and this is the body tube and this is the coarse adjustment knob and the fine adjustment knob with the help of coarse and fine adjustment knob we can adjust the magnification or we can we can adjust the image we can magnify the image resolving nose piece is there object now object there are different types of objects like uh, uh, 10x 45x 100x so we can use the uh, this object to on the basis of object condenser is here now simply condenser is used to condense the light and mirror and the base and here is inclination joint so these are the uh, simple body parts of a microscope now let's see now body tube is uh, it keeps the two sets of lenses at a set distance apart rotating nose piece allows one to change between the objective lenses Objective lens, the second set of lenses in the compound microscope that is 4, 10, 40x. Stage clip, it holds the slide in a place. Diaphragm is also used. Adjust the amount of light that hits the slide from the light source. Light source, mostly uh, the light source is like sunlight, mostly sunlight is used. Acular lens, the first lens in the compound microscope which is a 10x arm is also there stage is also there course adjustment norm that i told you like it moves a stage up and down very quickly fine adjustment it is like more slowly the base is there now let's see light rays now see how the light rays work in the compound microscope we can see at top light source okay now from the light source light will come see this light is coming and this light is collected with the help of collector that is con that is condenser that is condenser now what are the light is collected here right that collected light is is, is like you no know, is like only uh, uh, specific wavelength light is transferred towards the specimen toward the specimen and after specimen uh, after the light passing through the specimen that light passes or the light diffraction occurs by the specimen and that image will be will be captured by the uh, eyepiece means our uh, eyes that is what this mechanism or the light rays is here now different types of compound microscope first one dark field microscope now here it is used uh, particularly for viewing the suspensions of bacteria in the microscope the object is viewed only the with oblique rays which are scattered from objects the image appear bright on a black background second phase contact microscope now here in this uh, microscope we can observe cells and their contents without staining and the killing them the light rays passing through objects emerge out in different ways that is indirect and di diffracted when both the rays of an object are brought into the same phase the resultant amplitude is due to the sum of direct and diffracted rays which are called a coincidence due to increased amplitude the object looks very bright in the field interference of microscope it is based on the principle of phase contrast microscope it permits detection of small continuous changes in refractive index this variation of phase can be transformed into such a vivid color changes that living cells looks like a stained preparation so these are the three types of compound microscope dark phase contrast and interference microscope now we know that in the compound microscope to observe the uh, to observe the microorganisms or to observe the object we use cedar wood oil right so question is why we have to use cedar wood oil now it requires cedar root oil if you want to see the microorganisms under the 100x then we have to apply the cedar root oil now it is properly known as oil immersion or immersion oil and lens is known as oil immersion lens in microscopy immersion oil is colorless and has ri that is refractive index similar to the glass that is 1.55 see the immersion oil is colorless and the, the uh, refractive index of the immersion oil is the similar to the glass that is 1.55 the refractive index of air is lower than that of the glass and as a light ray passes from the glass slide into the air they are bent and refracted so they do not pass into the objective lens see simple fundi is here 
द रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ ग्लास और इमर्शन ऑयल इज वन पॉइंट फिफ्टी फाइव एंड द एयर रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स इज लेस दैन द वन पॉइंट फिफ्टी फाइव राइट सो जब लाइट पास होती है थ्रू द ग्लास लाइट देन इट बेंड और रिफ्रैक्टेड सो दे डू नॉट पास टू द ऑब्जेक्टिव लेंस This would cause the loss of light, which could would reduce the numerical aperture and diminish the resolving power of the objective lens. So, is ki wajah se kya ho jata hai? So, because of this, what happens? Because of this loss of light, which would reduce the numerical aperture and diminishes the resolving power of the objective lens. Loss of uh, RL can be compensated by the cedarwood oil, which has direct uh, refractive index as a glass between the slide and the objective lens. so in this way decreased light refraction occurs and more light rays enter directly into the objective lens producing a vivid image with a high resolution so these are the importance of cedarwood oil in the microscopy now other the applications it is used to observe the different uh, bacteria those are causing diseases it is also used to observe or identify the microorganisms from the crime scene it is also used to observe the microorganisms uh, those are helpful or those are in the metal reduction it is also used and benefited from the use of microscopes for conducting academic experiments it also help to understand the microbial world of bacteria viruses which is very naked which is not naked to the uh, eyes दो आदि सम एप्लीकेशन ऑफ माइक्रोस्कोपी दैट इज कम्बर्न माइक्रोस्कोपी एंड होप सो आपको ये लेक्चर अच्छा लगा होगा एंड इन फर्दर लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड मोर कॉन्सेप्ट फ्रॉम दी पी जी सी यू सी टी थैंक्स लॉट